How to insert a line and bar chart. Do you remember how to do that? Good. Now, let's try and refresh our memory. Write down what you remember so that mommy and daddy can take a look before we continue. Okay. So, you remember after we listed our names and then our heights in meters. We went to the insert tab of our Excel window. After clicking on the insert tab, we selected line 
from the chat groups of commands. And then we selected the lifestyle that we want to use for our graph. But we missed something. Who can tell me what we missed from the beginning? Thing, 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 thing. What did we miss from the beginning? Good. We did not select the cells we wanted to use for the line charts. We didn't select the cells. So before you go to the insert tab, you select the cells you want to use for the line charts. You know how to do that, right? Good, you teach mommy and daddy. And then you go to the insert tab and then continue from there. We did the same thing when we were inserting the bar chart. How many of you remember? Good. I want you to show how to do it. I want you to show mommy and daddy how to do it. And then afterwards, we saved our work. Thank you. Now, we also jumped on at the latter part of the term. At the latter part of the term, we also jumped on to a programming software. A software that is used in programming the action of a particular toy. How many of you remember? Yes. Scratch. Good. Scratch. Scratch. Hey, you know it is not you scratching you know, your arms when you are feeling itchy. You know. There is a programming software used to learn basic programming in ICT. Do you remember? And then the toys we control. How many of you remember the name? Good. Sprite. Sprite. Good. You can choose many sprites as you want. Now, before we came to look at how the software was, we did an activity in the classroom. Now, please, this is going to be funny, parents. Please allow them to control you by giving you commands. That is how to program a computer. A computer does not know when to turn on and off by itself. But when you give it command, it will work as you have commanded it. So if you tell the computer to sit, it will sit. If you tell the computer to stand, it will stand. So we performed a little activity in the classroom that was very fun. Please allow them to teach you how to do it. And I promise you, you will enjoy it. I'll see you again next time. And this time, I'm going to give you a little detail about the scratch and then give you a video tutorial and then we'll move on to our new topic for the new term. Until then, stay safe, stay at home, do not disturb mommy and daddy. Love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.